There is an extension on my browser called Motivation. It displays a timer of your age every time you open a new tab. This is supposed to make you feel the weight of the passage of time. Some stoic memento mori shit. You're supposed to look at it and say fuck procrastination, screw inaction, I'm just gonna decide right now and go for it. And to be honest, when I first installed the extension, I would look at it and I would feel these things. But now, it's a different story. You know this feeling when you want to change things and turn things around because you haven't been feeling in your element? I have been feeling this quite a bit. I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. We all have potential, we want to reach it, but instead of acting upon the goals that we set for ourselves, we end up on our phones, wasting time on Instagram. And for a very long time, I have been feeling that I wasn't on the right path. I was not doing the things that are in alignment with who I'm trying to become. The last two to three years have not been easy. I can't believe that almost three years have passed since I started this channel. Trust me, I have been trying to tell this story for the past two years and a half. After so many different scripts, I just nearly gave up. Before I had one brilliant idea, just tell the fucking story. Three years ago, when I uploaded my first video on this channel on June 3rd, 2020. At that time, I was super excited. I just finished college, and if you knew me, I wanted to drop out of college since I started. I was still living in college dorm, also we were in the middle of COVID. I got a job offer at Microsoft, and that was my dream job. Today uh, is officially the second day of being a Microsoft employee. I, I hurt myself here, so don't worry about this. I'm wearing my shirt to make me feel like as if I started working, but I'm still in my dorm room. I'm not sure if I can actually show you that, but there's like an internal tool where I found Satya and his email listed. And I wrote, <laughs> Dear Satya, and I worked really hard to get the job offer, especially during the summer before my senior year. I was preparing for the interview almost every day. I was about to start making YouTube videos and I thought this is the perfect time. Okay, so I have four minutes to grab a package that I completely forgot. It's uh, the batteries for my camera. So right now, this is the first video I'm ever recording on this new camera. but things didn't turn out as I imagined them to be. So many things have been going on lately. One of them is one week before I joined Microsoft, I still haven't heard anything from them. I didn't know which team I'm going to be joining. I didn't know who's gonna be my manager. When someone finally called me, I was asking him because I'm eager, I wanna, I wanna learn. I asked him, what should I spend my time learning before I join the team? And I can never forget what he told me during this call because it was kind of off-putting and funny at the same time. He said, don't worry about it. You don't have to study anything yet. We're not just looking to milk you once. We want to keep on milking you. I didn't want to get milked, to be honest. And it took two weeks before they sent the computer. So I was using my personal computer, which didn't even run the code base. It was a huge code base. Soon it became clear that I am not in the right place. So I was feeling pretty depressed. All right, so I haven't been feeling very happy lately. Perhaps it's because of the global situation the world is in. Quarantining in general became a little bit tough. All these dreams and ideas that I have, all these videos that I keep thinking about but not really working on, fearing that it's not gonna work out. In case I succeed, in case this ever reach you, my only words would be, don't give up, because I'm not planning on giving up. Eventually, my manager told me I should move to Seattle and come because Microsoft was about to open their offices, which was not true. Yeah, right now, their one bedroom apartment, uh, they're starting at 2116 uh, for 12 months. 21, I'm moving out in 10 days. This room has a lot of stuff, as you can see, that I still didn't get rid of. A lot of books, TV, uh, stuff, 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 and more stuff. All right, so I... I'm um, in a weird situation right now. Uh, I have a flight in less than 24 hours. And this is how my room looks like.
Alright, so uh, I think I'm in a much better state right now. I have about 40 minutes. A little bit tired because I didn't sleep well, but... It's crazy, man. I don't believe it. Four We're going years. to the airport. Four years, done. Just like that. Just like that. Hard to sleep on the floor. I'll need to get a mattress. Good morning, by the way. This is where I have been sleeping for the past couple days. Just I don't have a bed yet. I've been living from my suitcases. So I moved to Seattle and I stayed with a friend. His name is Rahul. The plan was to only stay there for three days, but I ended up staying for three months because when I arrived, I found that Rahul was depressed as well. And we realized it would be a better situation for both of us if we share each other's company and live together in the same place. My job was not getting any better and things were still closed, but my mental state was improving. Started some positive habits, meditation, working out, uploading videos, and above all, Seattle weather was still decent. We still had sun, so it was good. It was sunny. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna make the cut or not. <laughs> I was grateful to sit down and share home-cooked meals with Rahul, and a bit by bit, things started opening up and we made some friends. I thought I should grab a camera because I like filming the, the introduction. <laughs> so when someone say, how did you guys meet? I'll be like, this is how we met. <laughs> Look at our shadows, bro. If you're leaving a job or a relationship or a city to go to a new city, don't run away from something, run towards something, yeah. Three months passed and I thought it's time. I wanted to leave and get my own space and venture on my own. Just wanted to put some frames up, knowing that I won't have to take them down for a while. And like everybody else, sometimes you enter this state where you think that if you have something that you don't have right now, life is gonna get much better and you're gonna fix every one of your problems. I thought, oh yeah, like, you know, if I get my own space, I'll have more creative freedom. I will upload more videos. I found an apartment, got some furniture. Pro tip for you, if you're in this stage of your life, you're in your early 20s and you're about to make some purchases, be careful. Things you own end up owning you. Moral of the story, don't get a Murphy bed, bro. This is never a good idea, unless you absolutely need the space. At this point, I decided to switch teams. Switching teams was a good move. I ended up having a better team, better manager, but also a new tech stack. So I had to prove myself by working hard and I had a lot of sleepless nights. And this is when things get really bad. Um, does it also ensure that merch is actually run? Because of the constant pressure and the stress and not finding community and not having friends and the isolation, constantly being on my own, the weather switched up from sunny to gloomy, no shared meals, mostly cooking while watching Gordon Ramsay on my own. Then, you very carefully put your thumb and push up and pop out that joint. Things started to pile up and my mental health just got a very big hit. I just, I was not doing well mentally. I tried therapy, I tried to meet new people, I tried dating apps, I tried everything. I tried holding a banner and going to the streets and asking people if they want to be friends. I tried writing letters to strangers and handing them those letters. A little bit random, I know, but we're trying to tell a story across the whole city. And we're giving letters to strangers. You got one too! You should just use my Oh, you don't like it? I'm in a really bad headspace right now for something like this, I gotta be honest. Yeah, no worries. Really cool idea. I just don't know if I can give my energy to it right now. Okay. If that makes sense. I tried a lot. I really did. Perhaps it's the city. People say that Seattle is hard and there is the Seattle freeze. You don't really form connections that easily. I don't know what it was. I just know that I felt as if I was looking everywhere and I was not finding anything. I'm tired of walking the streets alone, you know? I mean, I'm not tired, I just crave the alternative. And everywhere I was looking, I found people that were depressed or sad or addicted to their phones. It just felt like society was breaking down. It felt like people didn't have love and belonging. At first, I thought this was a problem that I was facing on my own. I thought it's not a big chunk of the world, but actually it was. A lot of people were running into similar problems. Other chunk of the world that wasn't having it that bad during COVID were posting their highlights on Instagram and it didn't make it any easier. So I started thinking, 
there must be a solution. Why are the technologies that we have were exploiting us instead of empowering us? The algorithms for social media are very clever. The algorithms that they've incorporated function on the most powerful way to keep people doing a behavior, or an animal for that matter, random intermittent reward, that you don't know when you're gonna hit the jackpot. It's just like gambling. If we were to look at ourselves through the lens of an experiment like we would an animal experiment, we think that animal is sick. If you saw an animal digging in the corner, looking, 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 looking for a bone, the dog is looking, 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 you'd think that's really sad. That's us. Which led me to think about a new solution. Not a social media app, not a dating app, something that actually genuinely connect you with like-minded people around you. Imagine you go to a new country or a new city and instantly you can find your best friends, your potential lovers, people that you can connect with and click with. So I decided to quit my job and build this thing. Trust me, it was not an easy decision. You don't know where I'm coming from. So on paper, it feels as if I should stay, but in my heart, I know I should leave. This is very hard. And I'm not sure if I should trust my intellect making this decision or trust my intuition. Because I believe that things are gonna turn out positively if I take the leap. Yeah, I, I, I know that I need to start something. I have been thinking about actually uh, leaving sooner than Later. But the decision was not possible. Let's just say it was not practical. And when I talked to my manager, he talked me out of quitting, actually. So are you sure? To be honest with you, if the, the, the answer is no, I'm not. Just quick context without going too much into immigration details. I was on a work visa, and if I quit my job at that point, I would have had only 60 days, and I would have to leave afterwards. So I had to either figure out a way to hire myself through my own company, and that would require a physical location. When I talked to lawyers, they told me it's a very difficult and lengthy process. Just conclusion, you would say that the best option available legally would be stay in the company, invest in the new ones, so I have the green card, then that's it. Right, right, right. And the other alternative was to go back to Egypt, my home country. And I can't because I didn't do my military service. And if I go, they would take me to prison. <laughs> oh my gosh, no way. Nothing really seemed feasible except sticking with Microsoft until I can finish my immigration paperwork, which is probably the hardest thing I had to do in my adult life. Based permanent resident card. This extension will give applicants proof of lawful permanent resident status while they wait for their renewed green card. I really don't want to go into it. Just let's go with the positive. During that time, that one year and a half, I built some skill sets. I overcame some fears. I jumped off planes. I did whatever I could to just get by during that waiting period. And once my immigration issues were resolved, I submitted my two weeks notice and I quit my job. Wow. What the fuck? This is so cool. Permanent resident, damn. Shit, what else? Welcome to the United States. And I started Tribal, which is actually the whole point of this video. I want to tell you about Tribal. It's a new tool for genuinely connecting human beings. If you're sick of all those tools that are exploiting us and making us addicted to our phones, this is gonna be good news to you. This app is designed to help you, not harm you. Unlike social media, we're not gonna be selling ads, so we don't want you to be addicted to your phone and spend more watch time so that we can make more money. And unlike the traditional friendship apps and dating apps, we're not going to be putting people behind a paywall. We're not going to be exploiting your desire for human connection. No, we're going to be empowering you. We want you to meet your best buddy, your community, your tribe. We would succeed if you find love and belonging in this world. So it's going to be different. For the foreseeable future, this channel is going to be documenting the process of building this app, tool, company in order for us to connect people genuinely. We're going to be as transparent as possible, we're going to be building in public so we can co-create it together. We want to connect with the community early on in order for us to get proper feedback and see whether it's actually helping them or not. I will be sharing with you the ups and downs of this journey, the mistakes, the triumphs, the behind the scenes basically. So this is going to be a series and you're going to be seeing how the story unfolds as it's unfolding in real time. Coming up in the next episode of Tribal. The U.S. Surgeon General today declared a new public health epidemic in America, loneliness. So right now, I have loaded my van with all my stuff. Oh, we need to do. Yeah, I also want to oh, do it. Okay. Let's, Let's go. Don't forget to subscribe and sign up on our website.